There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not please send me um record a voice and send it to me so that then I can be able to know that it's truly you. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But uh, yeah, you have to be smart anyway, yeah. Um, do you think the the message came? Never, never, never. <laughs> and then the hash tone came from the other side. And the hash, uh, the, the text was like, leave it. I don't want it. And I laughed. I laughed. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to you. That is the time that it clicked into my mind. That this was the hacker. So the next thing that I did was to be able to look for her in other of our, um, our groups. And I was like, hey, check on your number. Somebody is just trying to ask people the money. And luckily enough, immediately after sending that in the group, three of our classmates, yeah, confirmed that, yeah, 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 the stupid guy is also trying to send me the same message, and then I said, thank you, thank you, at least uh, we were able to help. So now, what about if I could not have gone to that extent? It means we would have sent money, and it was going to the wrong hand. So now, with that experience, I came up with six golden rules on how to deal with this hacker. This can be able to help you in a situation like the one I was in. I have also to put this clear and say, uh, hackers use different methods. Yeah, So this might not work for other people, but for those that it can work for, um, Go ahead and try use them. So the first golden rule when dealing with a hacker is to hang up immediately. So if you get a call that is trying to ask you about your personal information, calls that try to tell you uh, we are from this and this bank, we are calling you from the police, we are calling you from blah, 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 yeah? Immediately you certain that this is not who they purport to be. Hang up immediately. Why? Because the more you're going to entertain this person through the call, you never know what they're doing from the other side. Number two. Please, please, please do not open any link sent to your phone. Now, these links are common. People coming and saying there is a promotion for this. These people are saying so many things. They are celebrating a thousand years. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then stupidly, you go and you open that link. That link then would give them the power to be able to access your account. So, do not open any link completely strange links that you don't know number three don't send money to an alternative number apart from the number you that you know like in my case um i was being told now send it to this alternative number okay you might be chatting with uh, one, two, three, four number. And then the person is telling you, now, do not send it to one, two, three, four, send it to five, six, seven, eight. If truly this is your friend, yeah, then why would they want you to send it to a different number? I know sometimes they'll come and start telling you uh, the other number has a problem, one, two, three, think and think why. 
Golden rule number four. If it is through a text, like in my case, please, please, please call your friend immediately before doing any transaction. Why? If you call your friend immediately, if it is them who will receive the call on the other side, you can be able to juggle it out. If it is still that hacker, then your guess is good as mine. Yeah? So that is golden rule number four. Now, golden rule number five. Demand for a voice message or a recording. Like what I did in my case. I told the person on the other side, um, the only way to prove that it is you is by you sending me a voice note. Yeah? Of course, if it's your friend, you will definitely be able to know their voice. So imagine if it was a man, yeah? And of course, Emily is a lady. And then um, I hear the voice of a man. I will definitely know this is not Emily. And I'll say bye-bye. Thank you so much. Look for another stupid person. Hapa unipati. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, the last rule that can also be able to help you out is to use a coded language. In most cases, you and your friends, they sometimes use some funny, funny language, some funny expressions that might not be very clear to other people. Yeah? Like, for example, um, in our case, in high school, we used to have a, a way we used to refer to each other. Yeah? So there's a way you can use that language. And just try to find out how the other person will be able to respond. If it's somebody who is familiar, yeah, then if it's a person truly, then maybe you are calling each other stupid names, yeah. Uh, I called you, for example, in a <laughs> uh, in our case, um, we used to call each other. Mm -mm. I will not tell you that because I know the next thing will be. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I am not giving you that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Of course, but of, in high school, maybe you had a nickname. The other person also had a nickname. Maybe you had a way you used to refer to yourself, maybe with the subject and stuff like that. Maybe at your workplace. There's so many things, even if it's your parent for that matter. There is a way you'd call your mama and there's a way that your mother will call you back. Okay? Or there's a way if it's a matter of text. So try using that. And uh, see how the other person will respond. Imagine if um, I use a cord. Yeah. And of course, there, for example, there are friends that um, the first thing when you start texting or when you start calling, you start abusing each other. Not because you mean it, but it's just for fun. Yeah. So imagine um, you're texting the other person and you use those kind of words. And the other side, they don't respond. What would that tell you? That I might be talking to a wrong person. So try all these kind of, um, the six golden rules I'm calling them. Uh, and be able to share with me what you think about them. I know there are people who have also gone through an experience. And maybe they came out of it. Yeah. I would really love to be able to hear from you in the comment section. Are there also other tips and other ways of how uh, we can be able to keep these hackers away? Kindly comment on the comment section some of, apart from the six, some other tips or rules that we, you, can, you know of so that together at the end of the day, we make our community we make our friends safe and we continue trusting each other. If you have been my friend and you have listened to me, we have walked through 
to this particular level. Just know I appreciate so, so much for your time. I don't take it for granted. Um, may God bless you so much. And uh, thank you for the main support. Big Brother Advice Corner is here to be able to put a smile on your face, to be able to challenge you to be the better person, uh, the better version of who you are. Now, we are moving and share this information with others. Download this, share it with other friends, share it with other platforms so that together the hacker might find it rough. And until next time, adios.